Hi, my name is Greg Shamatoff, and I'm on the STS-134 crew, and you're watching NASA TV. Selected by the Comtex and Mission Control. the International Space Station looking uh, from the top of the Quest airlock down into the uh, equipment lock uh, section of the uh, module, looking at Greg Chamatoff as he is uh, being assisted into his extravehicular ma mobility unit by Drew Foistel, who's uh, already conducted uh, three spacewalks on the flight. Uh, he has a total of six EVAs for 42 hours and 18 minutes. Greg Chamatoff uh, heading out uh, on the fourth spacewalk of this mission, which will be his second. He was uh, part of the uh, team of uh, with Foistel on EVA-1 back on uh, May 20th. It lasted six hours and 19 minutes. That was his first ever spacewalk. He's heading out with uh, Mike Fink on uh, tonight's EVA that runs into Friday morning. Mike Fink will be heading out for his ninth spacewalk, his third of this mission. He will be adding to his total of 41 hours and 13 minutes. Shuttle Flight Director Gary Horlocker calling uh, on an internal loop to Flight Director Derek Hassman down the hall, giving him uh, permission now to take over the uh, orbiter boom sensor system, giving the uh, handoff permission for that uh, boom to become a permanent component of the International Space Station and essentially effectively be renamed the ISS Boom Assembly. It's a great view of looking along the truss structure of the International Space Station, a beautiful size comparison of the two astronauts performing today's spacewalk up above them, awaiting uh, them to assist with the installation on the S-1 truss, the OBSS attached firmly at the center point to the station's robotic arm. Like we talked last night, Taz makes the GCA calls. Anybody can make stop calls. Um, we will uh, call on ISAC. Uh, you call starting. We call. Or we call starting. You call good. Um, we'll call motion complete. You call GCA complete. So the OPS has standoff. Uh, use a very ultralight ninja graceful ballerina grip, as we talked about, and. Uh, 
with a light touch, I'll back off straight with no corrections, and if I'm out of the envelope, we'll stop and talk about it. And finally, for the clearances, we've got really good video, better than uh, I recall in simulation. Um, but once we lose it, we'll hand it off positively. Remember, breaks for uh, APFR and MinCom during GCAs. That's it. Any questions? Copy all, box. Copy all for EVT. View from Greg Shamatoff's camera looking down at uh, the tail of Space Shuttle Endeavor, the International Space Station, 200. 15 miles above Australia. How's your alignment look, Mike? My alignment looks uh, a little bit tall. In other words, I think I need about uh, 20 or 30 centimeters later on my side. I can't tell if that's roll or just pure uh, up and down. Okay, I see it. Not to put any force on the boom. Yeah, I'm not touching it. It's a great view from Mike Fink's helmet cam with the latching device on the uh, station's truss structure with the uh, pin or the bracket on the OBSS itself. Okay, both of you have a red, I understand. So uh, let me know if you're ready, and then we'll give Box a go for release and OBSS still back off. And I'm ready. HBT is ready. EV2 is ready with Ninja Ballerina Grip. So they each have a, uh, a grasp of the orbiter boom sensor system. The next step will be to uh, actually release the grapple pin with the uh, releasing the station's robotic arm that you see grappled to the midpoint of that boom. Okay, guys, uh, here we go on my mark. Are you still ready? EV2 ready. EV2 ready. Three, two, one, mark. Let's see some separation. Nice and steady. It's very straight. Good work, guys. You're holding it very still. That's good. All right, here we go. Copy. I brought it off. Continue. Okay, we've got the open. Uh, guys, we're backing off now. Hold steady. Holding steady. Holding steady. This is the view from Greg Chamatoff's hands up close and personal with the end effector of the station's robotic arm as it backs off of the grapple fixture pin. No issues, looks perfect. Perfect. Perfect, just clear of the pin. Very nice. Ninja ballerina. Awesome. Nice job. Very nice. That's why Box is the lead arm operator. Box man. Okay, here's the drill real quick. Taz, you're going to go for uh, soft capture and then lock the S-bed. And I'm not going to soft capture till he's done. That's a firm. So I'm going to keep it close and somewhat in my envelope. And this camera view is looking uh, on the end of the station's robot arm, looking down at Grant, Greg Chamatoff. You can see where he was located in relation to the midpoint of the boom.
Houston Cowboys. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. And looking down the boom, it looks really good. Like Mark said, congratulations on station complete. I'm looking for you, the Mesa. This is the power and data grapple fixture that the two crew members are working with that will be installed on the end of the uh, orbiter boom sensor system, which is now an ISS uh, boom assembly. The uh, electrical uh, grapple fixture will be uh, removed from the end of that boom. There are six bolts that have to be uh, freed to remove it. That uh, electrical and data grapple fixture will either be placed in Endeavour's payload bay for return trip home or brought inside at the end of the EVA to save a little bit of time. In its place, this uh, PDGF, or Power and Data Grapple fixture, will be installed because it's uh, compatible with the uh, station's uh, robotic arm. The two crew members now are headed back in inboard uh, to begin the swap of the electrical flight grapple fixture for the uh, power and data grapple fixture that they've been working with for the last uh, several minutes. So they're headed back uh, down the truss structure inboard uh, toward the center and then out toward the S1 uh, stru structure, truss structure where the orbiter boom sensor system, now the ISS boom assembly is located. Okay, copy all the bolts. You're looking for Bravo 5, clockwise. Okay, again, clockwise. Bravo 5, clockwise 2. Taz, this is 22 foot pounds, so you might need a second hand. Okay. I, yeah, I think you're pretty, pretty well braced. Axel. So it's uh, four turns on one. Uh, shoot. I had a torque on it, but then uh, I accidentally touched the trigger again. Let me get another one. Green torque, and then I touched the uh, trigger, so I lost the uh, This view looking through Mike Fink's helmet camera as uh, he assists Greg Shamatoff with uh, driving the bolts on the power and data grapple fixture, the replacement for the electrical flight grapple fixture on the end of what. Uh, is now a station component, the uh, ISS boom assembly. We've just reached the four hour and 47 minute mark in today's spacewalk, which officially marks the 1,000th hour spent out in the vacuum of space, building and maintaining the International Space Station. It's often been called one of the greatest engineering achievements of mankind, and when its assembly was just beginning, it was known that it would take more spacewalks than anything we'd done before, and it certainly has. The total U.S. time spent spacewalking for other programs and projects 
is uh, 528 hours and 46 minutes. And again, we've uh, just surpassed the 1,000th hour spent spacewalking to build the International Space Station. Today's is the 159th International Space Station spacewalk, and the last that will be conducted by a space shuttle crew. Good view of the power and data grapple fixture now installed on what was the orbiter room sensor system and now will be known as the enhanced with this addition International Space Station Boom Assembly. Thank you. I think you've got the bag cleaned up. Is that true? Yes, and I was uh, leaving it open for a inventory at your convenience. In addition to the uh, power and data grapple fixture here, you can also make out the boom itself extending to Shamatov's uh, left up towards the corner of the screen. That's been installed on uh, two stands that were left over from the STS-123 mission when the boom was temporarily stored there in preparation for STS-124 when the boom couldn't fit in the shuttle's cargo bay because it was carrying up uh, the Kibo Laboratory, which is the station's largest laboratory. Before they move, visors up and uh, give a look of this way. And a good view here as well. Yeah, keep coming to your right there. Of the Destiny Laboratory directly below Shamatov, connected to the Harmony module, which connects the uh, Destiny to the Japanese and European labs, Kibo and Columbus, and beyond that, Space Shuttle Endeavor. Thanks. Hey, Mike, I'm going around the corner. All right, Jake. Yeah, so uh, Drew and Swanee and the rest of the team, I'm ready to go. And Jake's just about ready, too. He's going to get his uh, great shot of our beautiful space station. You should copy, thanks. You should copy, thanks. And then we'll uh, head on in to the airlock and uh, call it a day. Wow. Excellent. One last photo before the space walkers come in for the day. Mission specialist Greg Shamatov is going to uh, use the camera that he already had out to get a photo of the International Space Station now that it uh, okay. is complete. And as this is the last spacewalk for a space shuttle crew, this is a good time to document the accomplishments of more than 1,000 hours of spacewalking time spent building the International Space Station. At least if you have a WVF. Hey, firm, we do. It looks great. Thank you.
Now that's uh, we're almost done here. More things to do. Wanted to say a few words. This is the last flight of Space Shuttle Endeavor. And it's also the last spacewalk of uh, shuttle of shuttle crew members and for uh, station assembly. Kind of fitting that Endeavor is here because uh, Endeavor was the first shuttle to begin construction of the station, and so it's fitting that she's here for the last last uh, mission to uh, finish assembly. And um, during the CVA, we passed. Both together collectively over a thousand hours of spacewalks uh, as part of uh, station assembly. Mike and I have the uh, honor here to share this last spacewalk. And uh, of course, with all the folks who worked on the ground, thousands of people who helped build us working in the shuttle and the station program, we're floating here on the shoulders of giants. This uh, space station, the pinnacle of human achievement and uh, international cooperation. 12 years in the building and 15 countries, and now it's the brightest star in the sky and hopefully the doorstep to our future. So congratulations, everybody, on simply complete. Well said, Pat. Do you think it could? All right, I think it's fun. <laughs> nice work. Thank you. All right, it's time to go home, thanks. There we go. You can see both spacewalkers here making their way back to the Quest airlock on the uh, bottom of the screen in the all-white spacesuit, Mike Fink, making his way hand over hand down the space station's truss. And you can uh, get a look at where Mission Specialist Greg Shamatov was taking his photos from. He's on the uh, Express Logistics Carrier, climbing down from that to the truss. He was at the uh, top of that stowage platform for the photos that he just took of the International Space Station. Did a nice job on the cover on here, Mike. Thanks, buddy. And uh, good work yourself today. Congratulations on your second EVA. Thanks, sir. And I'm not going to fair lead my tether. Sounds good. Yeah. Believe me, surprise. Exactly. Hey, Drew, not the last step. Okay, you can pause there. <laughs> and I'm almost at the airlock. And open the hatch thermal cover. And then, uh, You'll be uh, right waist to the tail on your extender. Copy. I'll report back. The bag's going to have to get in uh, in there as well. Understood. View here from Mission Specialist Mike Binks' camera as uh, the thermal cover coming open. Shuttle in the station past 217 miles above Chad, heading towards the border border of Sudan. Happy thermal cover. Patch thermal cover is open. And I'm sticking my head inside. And I'm going to put my right waist tether. Right waist tether to air lock internal D ring. Air lock next Yeah, you can go to D ring extender. Okay, go into the D ring extender. As you can get your left waist tether ready. And my left waist tether is already on his hook. His hook's still in place. Okay. Welcome. And I'm getting inside. Let's get out of your way. Okay, I've got a lot of that thermal cover. The 
Good job. Okay, Mike, uh, now I'm going to use your home to turn. I'm going to see. Mission Specialist Greg Shamatov now in the Quest airlock with Mike Fink, the last space shuttle crew member to conduct a spacewalk now back inside the airlock. Yeah, I've been in France with different, better pieces of Velcro. <laughs> and Taz, be sure, you know, once you release that ret, you don't want to get near that thermal cover. It'll pop back open on you. Even if you look at it funny. Yeah, so keep your uh, tether packs, everything clear. That does so they don't have it. Mike, just close the hatch on that is successful and safe EVAs for the shuttle program. Yeah, I wanted to uh, say congratulations to the shuttle program for all the wonderful successes we've had in the past 30-something years. And privilege that Endeavor's uh, hosting the last spacewalk by uh, space shuttle crews. And uh, so congratulations to the EVA development teams who've come a long way. So from me and uh, Greg and the rest of the crew, congratulations.